ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹംഗർ ഇൻഡെക്സ് ഓഫ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വന്റി ത്രീ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ റാങ്ക് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഇൻ ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹംഗർ ഇൻഡെക്സ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വന്റി ത്രീ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് വൺ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് കൺട്രീസ് ഓഫ് ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹംഗർ ഇൻഡെക്സ് ഇന്ത്യ റാങ്ക്സ് വൺ 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 ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ വൺ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് കൺട്രീസ് ഇന്ത്യാസ് റാങ്ക് ഇസ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ലെവൻ ഓക്കെ നോ വിൽ ഗോ ടു ദ റിപ്പോർട്ട് ഹൂ പബ്ലിഷസ് ദ റിപ്പോർട്ട് the publishers of the report is concerned worldwide and wealth hunger life concerned worldwide and wealth hunger high life is the one who reports the uh, who publishes the report okay what is the purpose of the report to tackle or effectively measure and track global regional national hunger okay what is the purpose of the report to track and to measure the global regional and national hunger okay what is the significance of the report to raise awareness of united nations sustainable development goal 2 goal 2 for is for hunger okay sustainable we have 17 sustainable development goals out of that second uh, sustainable development goal is for regarding hunger okay so it is to raise awareness of the sdg 2 okay that is zero hunger okay zero hunger we have uh, uh, what we need to achieve it by 2020 30 2030 so the scores are calculated on a 100 point scale okay okay this is how the scores are calculated mainly four indicators are concerned undernourishment child stunting child wasting and child mortality okay one third of undernourishment one sixth of child stunting one sixth of child wasting and one 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 third of child mortality this is how the end ghi score is considered and yeah, okay and there is a scale of five uh, like low moderate serious alarming extremely alarming okay low moderate serious alarming extremely alarming India score is nearly 28.1 that is in the serious scale clear now another important thing is india is behind other countries like pakistan bangladesh nepal sri lanka etc india is behind that is the one of the major problem india score is 28.7 indicating a serious level of hunger even pakistan is 102 bangladesh india and its neighbor when we compare india and our neighbors even our neighbors are better than us because pakistan 102 is their rank our rank is 111 okay if we consider bangladesh 81 nepal 69 and sri lanka is 60 okay however if, if we consider in the south asia and africa the our score is better okay india made significance program uh, progress between 2000 uh, 2000 and 2015 that is we have 30 uh, we had 38.4 from that 35.5 in 2018 and 29.2 in 2015 and in 2023 we have got to 28.8 clear we are bettering but we are the betterment rate is less that is the problem see from in 2000 we had 38.4 that is 38.4 alarming rate from alarming we are shifting to the serious we are better getting better but it is slow rate that is the problem and when we compare ourselves with our neighbors we are at the lower stage okay but as a south asia and africa are concerned we are at a better position but it just doesn't justify the uh, position of india clear now as we said that the different undernourishment child wasting child stunting child mortality are the considered uh, factors right so let's see what is child okay what is hunger means hunger is undesirable sensation caused by insufficient consumption of calories okay calorie deficiency is the hunger okay undesirable sensation caused by insufficient consumption of calorie daily lead to normal uh, leader a uh, normal and healthy life it hinders the normal and healthy life okay then wasting wasting is related to weight ww wasting is related to weight 
that is weight is not adequate according to their height okay now stunting stunting is under age 5 with low weight low height okay wasting means ww weight is not according to height stunting means under age 5 low height not according to that height not according to that age okay now child mortality means under the age of 5 death of the child okay now the other parameter used is undernourishment right undernourishment means measures the proportion of population facing chronic deficiency of dietary and en energy intake undernourishment is mainly considered a energy intake kwashiorkor is caused by protein deficiency marasmus is caused by protein and calorie um, meaning carb carb deficiency similar thing here energy is given by yes so the deficiency of it leads to undernourishment okay so wasting stunting undernourishment child mortality are the four indicators with which global hunger hunger index is considered wasting means weight weight is not enough according to height okay stunting means under the age of 5 the height is not according to that of age now child mortality is under 5 children death undernourishment is lack of energy to the yeah according to the in the population okay what are the government initiatives to combat hunger first one is pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana kalyan anna yojana it's a central government launched scheme specific purpose of ameliorating the hardship faced by poor and needy due to economic disruptions okay pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana here food are given to the people okay mainly in the covid time now next one is national food security act of 2013 here to 75 percentage of rural population and up to 50 percentage of urban population subsidized to food grains are given okay under which one targeted pds that is targeted public distribution system mainly paddy is given rice or paddy is given to them okay so no, national food security act of 2013 through which uh, under that tar through targeted pds or tar targeted public distribution system 75 percentage of rural population and nearly 50 percentage of urban population are covered okay and food grains are given to them in subsidized rate next one is mission saksham anganwadi and poshan 2.0 it's an integrated nutrition support program to address mission saksham in anganwadi and portion 2.0 anganwadi means mainly children right so nourishment in children and portion 2.0 has children adults and pregnant women and lactating mothers mid day meal scheme etc comes under this one portion 2.0 okay mission saksham anganwadi and portion 2.0 mainly to address the undernourishment in children adults and girls pregnant women and lactating mothers clear next one is zero hunger program it is for to reduce child stunting what is child stunting low height compared to their age under the age of 5 okay so what we need to do we need to early intervene so it this program is for child children of 2 years and younger why because early development should have occur right ensure access to food all year round and create stable food system that is zero hunger program next one is eat right movement this is a movement by fssai food safety and standards authority of india okay for healthy and safe food yeah so what are the initiatives of the government for uh, to combat hunger first one is pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana anna yojana for to provide food for uh, people who have uh, po poverty okay or uh, alleviate poverty next one is food security act of 2013 through which through part targeted pds we give 75 uh, we give for subsidized food grains to 75 percentage of the rural population and 50 percentage of the urban population next one is saksham anganwadi okay and portion 2.0 this is for children 
adolescent girls pregnant women and lactating mothers okay next one is zero hunger program this is by for tackling the child stunting so so early intervention should be given that means children under the age of 2 years and below are given the uh, adequate supply of food grains all year all round the year okay next one is eat right movement eat right movement is by fssai to give healthy and safe food to the population clear